everyone. This is Marina with How I Got Here. And I have one of my very close friends, Gerard Alexander, finally visiting me. Right. And, and this is, by the way, his signature move. It's not cold here. <laughs> Holy shit. No, this is not Siberia. We're in New York and it's end of March. <laughs> also, we can't keep a straight face. We're always picking on each other. Um, Gerard, thanks so much for coming, um, being part of my journey. And hopefully I can... Um, Tell the viewers, you know, who you are and how we met and um, what you have been offering to the world for so long. Like, I think we met in like back in 2015, or no, 2016. I guess it's as good as mine. You know how, what they say, right? Men remember nothing. Right? You do. I can tell you this, though. It's been a minute. It's been a long minute. It's been a minute. And um, we, since we, the moment we met, actually, my, we, I was coming to you with my ex-husband at the time, trying to get a car. And he's a very successful uh, owner of a dealership called Rise Above. He's a people person. What? Nothing. nothing. People person loves, you know. It's a brokerage firm. Brokerage firm. Right. So we use their shit. So which means that I don't have to keep an inventory. But we'll talk about that later. Yes. Still a very successful company because he puts uh, people first. And that is one of the greatest ways to grow and become successful because money is not what drives you. People do. Helping people, making them happy, giving them the right you know, service, watching their smile when they walk away with the right car is, you know, and the right price is actually what makes Gerard a successful businessman. Um, so welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I know that since we met, you've been first working for somebody else. And right. as time went on, um, you now open up, you open up your own company, as I mentioned, it's called Rise Above. What were your struggles, I would say, or maybe fears that you thought you wouldn't be able to accomplish? Um, How was Rise Above born? Let's start with that. So, working for someone, long hours, I always wanted more time with my family, and I wasn't able to do that. One eventful morning, we were, you know how it is, car guys out there, every Saturday morning, we have meetings, right? Discuss how we're going to move forward during the week. And, um, and like how the meeting went, I went to an argument with uh, one of the managers there and decided, some to cut my ties, I can do this better. Branched out on my own, Maria. So the argument is what got you to that point where you said it 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 pushed me right to do, I believe, what I'm great at and I believe I can do it better. Hence we rise above. Right. right? Not right. just competition sake. Um being transparent with the client, you know what I'm saying? Showing them everything. Mm -hmm. I believe is key. Right. Not a week later I'm getting a phone call. Hey, Mr. Alexander, how come I'm paying seventy thousand dollars for this car. Well, my job, I failed you if you don't know that answer, right? So I have to explain what that is. Mm -hmm. So, like I said, you're putting people first, and money is not what drives you. However, fact still right. right. <laughs> fact still stays, you know, a fact that we still need the money in order to grow. You can't be successful without any money in your pocket, right? So. Um, putting the needs of someone that comes to you, it's very easy in your industry to just screw somebody over and lie to them. But you wouldn't be who you are today if that wasn't, you know, if that was the case. So 100%. I agree with that. Um, and to defend that, right? Most of my clients have been my clients for years. Right. Right. It's not people I'm running into in the streets. A lot of times, that's how we do business, right? Through word of mouth. Mm -hmm. But um, it's people who stuck around with me, right? They bought a car and they realized that uh, they're getting the best bargain. And they decided to stick with me for years, decades. Mm -hmm. That's what matters to me, right? The longevity. Absolutely. So you call guys out there would know this, this, this jargon. I call guys jargon, if you will. Um, 
if I've sold you a car once in your lifetime, I failed you. <laughs> the keys to come back, right? I'll let you figure out that. <laughs> so as a business owner and also a family man, you have a beautiful family, you have amazing mm -hmm. four children. And I know from our conversations over the phone, when your kids are in the background, you always been an amazing father. Like you always put your kids first, which is great. So how do you give someone an advice on how to balance life, work life, and personal life? Well, I'm no theologian, but I can say that it's making the time sometimes, you know, you're tired. You don't want to deal with that crap. You know, kids are, they own a thousand all the time. Um, it's making that time. You know, as opposed to when I was working for someone where I had to be at work 18 hours a day. Mm. Um, we all know that, yeah. <laughs> I'm embellishing a bit, but uh, you know what I mean, car guys out there and, and the people who do long hours at work. So now I have the opportunity to spend the time with them. Mm -hmm. Drop them off at school in the morning and pick them up. So my job, my occupation, I should say, rather, because it's not a job, because I love what I do. Um, it allows me the opportunity to um, spend more time with my family, which is what I wanted. For example, uh, we're here now, right? Mm -hmm. I'm a lot of the time to be able to do this, right? While still being, being productive. Yeah, I literally called you five minutes ago. Hey, we, it's been a minute. <laughs> Wanna, you want to finally talk, tell people, you know, who is Gerard behind Rise Above? He's like, all right, I'm coming through. <laughs> and is, uh, that's one of the best privileges that you have when you run your own business. Of course, running a business is not a walk in the park. It's a lot of long hours, actually. You know, um, but at the end of the day, it's what you love that allows you to continue thriving and spending, giving you that, you know, free time opportunity to spend time with your family like i said as the as someone that knows you for so many years i know that you always put your family first you grind a lot you don't ask for you know hey can you do this for me and just forget about it right you don't build your empire on somebody else's hard work and if somebody works with you you're taking care of them at the same time mm -hmm. right so i think that's one of the greatest parts about having a boss or somebody who's your supervisor, right? Because a lot of people, they're all seasonal at the same time. So if I'm working for you, it's because I'm able to work for you now. And then if something happens yeah. or changes in my life, I would have to leave. Right. But that moment that I spent around you, that time that I spent around you, I know for a fact people learn from me because I know for a fact from the years that I've known you, you always give time to even the janitor, someone who, you know, washes your windows in the company because appearance, you know, how your office looks or how your company looks still matters. And I know that you don't, you don't just talk to people who are strictly business investors or strictly people who are buying, the like customers buying your cars, right? You're talking the same with everybody. Like literally, if you're the president of America to a janitor in somebody's school. I mean, at the end of the day, Again, you car guys out there know this, right? It's um, to treat everyone as if they're an 800 credit score. Right? Mm -hmm. You treat everyone like a king and queen, which they are. Um, you bring that into business. The reciprocity that you can give from doing that, it's, it's beyond words. Mm -hmm. And that's my gratification most of the time. It feels good. Yeah, I know. There's nothing like it. Because every time I call you, you're happy. You're always, you know. I'm not always happy. But um, you're lying to me. <laughs> well, no, it's not that I'm lying to you. It's 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 again mm -hmm. going back to selling cars, right? No matter what you got going on in your life. Yes. Us car guys tend to treat everything as if it's a car deal. Mm -hmm. It could be good and it could be bad, right? Right. But I believe the good outweighs the bad all the time because this is what we chose to make this our career, and this is a lifetime for us car people, right? Um, it's balancing the two. What advice would you give to somebody who's trying to open up their own business? Maybe even the same industry. I'd say that you, you have to know what you're getting into. You have to know your business. Mm -hmm. um, what 
your drive is. You know, it can't be like a job that you hate. Mm-hmm. And then like, I'm going to start my own business. And no, I love doing this. Right? I'm an educated man. Mm-hmm. And I feel like I can do this better. And I'm, I, I believe I'm good at it. And right. here we are. So I say, go ahead, follow your dreams, but know what you're getting into. You have to know your business. You have to know, for example, you have to know how to sell cars. Who says, oh, you're the boss, you're the boss. No, I'm a car salesman. I'm going around saying, hey, I'm I'm the boss, Gerard. It's good to meet you. How can I say? I'm also the founder of. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm not only president, I'm also a member. You have a 20 minute introduction. <laughs> so let's say, follow your dreams. Stay humble. Know your business. Mm-hmm. Stay humble. Always stay humble because. Lose everything from that being humble. Thank you for inviting me. I know this was short, but next time, I promise we'll give you more. I'll put everything in the description about um, Gerard. That if you ever want to contact him, get a car, any kind of vehicle, honestly, at any given moment, he'll take care of you. Any given moment. I like that. You know, you're going to pick up at three o'clock in the morning and be like, yeah, sure, well, fam, I got you. I know about that guy. Don't do that. Pick up somebody. <laughs> somebody will. <laughs> but you're right. Anyway, um, either way, thank you so much for coming. I know. Listen, even though we say there's work-life balance, he's still busy. And thanks so much for coming. It me- means a lot. I know you have phone ringing. <laughs> he goes from one meeting to the next. He's a busy bird. But thank you. You're welcome. <laughs>